Well, the USGBC's Green Campus campaign has a vision that every college and university will have a green campus within a generation. What that really means is a cross-campus greening initiative, so getting away from the token green building on campus, getting away from singular efforts to address greening in a one building or with one particular aspect of facilities, and really looking at the sum total of a campus and our opportunity to truly um, invoke sustainability at every juncture on the campus. Um, one of the things that the Green Campus Campaign will focus on is the opportunity to take LEED certification to scale. In other words, what does it mean not to certify or what does it mean to certify more than one building at a time? So through USGBC's new portfolio program, which will launch um, within about a year's time, Colleges and universities will have the opportunity to streamline their documentation process and look at multiple certifications within one scheme, in particular around the certification of existing buildings. When you look at the number of buildings that are in existence on campus that have a need to be green versus the number of buildings that a college or university is building new, um, it's really it's quite disproportionate. So the, the place for us to focus our attention is on what we can do with existing buildings. I think the higher education sector has made tremendous strides when it comes to greening new construction. Probably um, more, more, uh, significant, more significant strides than any other sector in the commercial construction economy. But now it's start time to start focusing on what we can do with existing buildings. In terms of the slowing of the economy, um, I think that people are really finding an opportunity in times that are slightly slower or, or perhaps more quiet, um, in particular within the facilities and operations of a campus. So we see that a lot of colleges and universities are hunkering down to figure out what they can do to green their existing buildings, shifting the focus from their new construction projects, which maybe are on hold, maybe they'll be um, finished off the, the ones that are in process right now, but after that they know that they'll be a slow. Um, but now they're starting to shift their focus to all of the other existing facilities that they have on campus. What can we do for all of those buildings? Because um, it's not so much about what it's going to cost um, as it is about what it's going to save. So if I can start to do some really easy things, some really small measures that I can put into place uh, in terms of energy management, in terms of water management, how can that actually save me on operational dollars, especially during a time when my budget is stretched so thin? People do sometimes uh, have the, the uh, perception that doing LEED is more expensive, and um, I think that's actually a misperception. If you look at the cost of the actual certification, so what does it cost for me to um, get LEED certified, those are fractions of the price that you're going to be paying to do the improvements on the buildings or to build a new building. One example, um, a 125,000 square foot building on a campus, which is me medium to large size for a campus, uh, costs less than $5,500 to certify. That's less than 0.0001% of the total construction budget for a given project. So it's not about the money that it costs to certify. When people say that um, certification is expensive, what they're really talking about is that in many cases colleges and universities are paying a lot of money for the documentation. They're paying a lot of money to third-party consultants to complete the documentation process. And to that I say that higher education has probably a better opportunity than any other um, commercial construction sector or for that matter um, any building owner type to really um, streamline the documentation process because all of your buildings are contained within a campus and a lot of the programs, policies, and plans that are addressed within the greening of operations and maintenance are things that are put into place across an entire campus. Um, and I also say that it's, an, it's a tremendous opportunity that exists on a campus to loop in those students, to loop in those teachers. How can we use them to carry the documentation process? If you can find a way to have students uh, participating on the project team, um, completing some of the documentation, perhaps even overseeing the documentation process, you're talking about tens of thousands, in some cases hundreds of thousands of dollars of savings um, that you're going to save by not paying that money out to a consultant. 
If you don't have the opportunity to engage students or grad students in that process, the other thing that you can do to start saving money is to educate your staff internally. It's not rocket science when it comes to the certification process. So if you can build out that kind of capacity, educate your staff in-house, have staff become lead accredited professionals, have someone who oversees the sustainability efforts, um, then you're really going to be able to drive the costs down of going green. When we launched the Green Campus campaign, we also launched um, a new landing page on our website. It's usgbc.org forward slash campus. Um, and that's really your hub or your portal for accessing all of the different resources and information that we have that are appropriate to the higher education audience. Um, and that addresses all different um, types of audiences within the context of higher education. So we've got um, full PowerPoint presentations with speaker notes for students or administration or faculty who want to deliver presentations on the value of green building. We have links to education courses, to podcasts, to um, technical training reviews. We have links to different pages that describe various lead rating systems that are applicable to higher education and identify how you can get started um, with, with engaging in the certification process. So usgbc.org forward slash campus is the place to go to then be directed out to meet all of your various needs when it comes to greening your campus.